<clears throat> Hello everyone, the Master and Greetings. My name is Luke Elijah. Thank you for watching this video. My video guest with me today is extra special because she's my own mother. Thank you, Marilyn, for agreeing to come on my talk show. Thank you, Liu, for giving me an opportunity to talk about my healings. Right. Which is very important. <laughs> totally, very totally. Good. You know, initially my mom was uh, slightly reluctant to come on video because she's not interested in the limelight or any kind of publicity. Right? All she wants to do is to do what she loves, which is creating art and jewelry and healing at people. But she understands, you know, through some coach, uh, persuasion or mind, right, she understands that she's able to serve and reach out more people, right? And being able to assist and heal them more if she comes on video and explains what she does for a living, okay? Right, Marilyn, you have been a healer and a pressure massage therapist basically all your life. All right, could you tell us more about yourself and how you got started in doing this? Hi, I'm Marilyn. When I was a little girl, I sit and watch my grandfather do all the patient's healing. And my mother and my father also does that. And sometimes I also help them in the healing. There are so many people approach them for their help. So my healing is about spray, disclosure, yes, migraines, yes, no, depression, stress, back pain, sleep disease. You see our body needs to open up all the meridians so that the blood will flow smoothly to the heart to change from the oxygenated oxygenated blood. Then if there's a blockage, that means the vessel that's twisted, then the blood cannot flow through smoothly. Then you find teaching pain, which you cannot explain to anybody. And many, many minute vessels. Then with the acupoint massage, I massage the whole body, head to toe, toe to head, to relieve you of all the pain without medicine or do I don't need ointments to do that. I use my finger to open up all the meridians. Especially monopause, you have emotional stress migraines, see the computer too much, the eyes, High back strain, pain, yes. when you sit too long, neck, shoulder, back pains from being stiff in the computer all day, yeah. yes, and you carry heavy loads, especially the computer bags that will aggregate the weight on your shoulders, these are very common problems for office workers and all people from all walks of life. Pain doesn't start from old people. It's not true. Everybody has pain. So to rectify it, you have to open up your meridians so that there won't be any blockages. And then once you are healthy, that is well. Yes, for sure, well said, because true wealth is actually health and well-being. And I was very privileged and very grateful as well to have my mom massage and heal me as a kid. Because when I have like, indigestion problems, headaches, migraines, stiff necks and back and shoulders, or, and this was my lower back from carrying lots of or heavy stuff, especially when I was a uh, fashion stylist and borrowing all these bags and clothes and all kinds of heavy, heavy accessories that I was carrying on my shoulders and I had a lot of back problems so she was always healing and massaging me right so very thankful and grateful for her for that right? and when she learned from us she learned from her, her own grandparents and her own parents so and, and then finally her and she taught me some as well so it's like you know four generations of, of healers now, because my mom is much better than I am right she can really fix dislocated shoulders right sprained ankles uh, and lots more, you know, definitely, you know, and, and what's, what's the difference between her regular relaxing massage and her acupressure massage therapy is she really goes down and fix the root of the, the root issue.
issue, right? And then say, you know, for example, Reiki healing is just placing your hands over and sending universal life force energy. Whereas my mom's, my mom's healing is actually using her own hands and fingers to knead and press the acupressure, using acupressure, the meridian points and the chakra points in the body to alleviate the problems. Usually the, the face, on the face, the hands and the feet, right? And yeah, she can fix lots of issues and problems. So if you are feeling any kind of pain, right, you can look for her, right? And she's been healing Especially hundreds. Especially uh, stroke victims. Mm. Uh, half side is uh, numb. Mm. I'm happy myself because I'm able to help and relieve people of all their stress, their pain. Emotionally, I heal them physically, emotionally. Yeah, she's like counselor too because she, she speaks to the clients um, all, and constantly while she's doing her massage, finding them, uh, asking them about their issues and problems. And a lot of times because it's also their, their pain is related to their mental conditioning, they're suffering from depression and in their, also their negative beliefs and thoughts affects their physiology of their body, right? Definitely affects, you know, if, if they have been thinking a lot of uh, sad, block, sad thoughts, blockages in them, you know, affects their physical body for sure. Yeah, so my mom, you know, she, she can assist you in that, that way as well. So healing on many levels, not just physically, but on the mental, emotional level as well. And eventually the spiritual connection to it all. Alright, my, my mom was actually a jewelry designer before and she she now spends her time making all this beautiful crystal jewelry that you see right in front of us. My Marilyn, can you tell us more about your jewelry? I'm a jewelry designer. Because the gold price went up so high, then my customer no longer sets with me precious stone, semi-precious stone like diamonds, jade, rubies, sapphires, emeralds. So now I changed to gemstone, semi-precious stone, corals, jade, turquoise, quartz that will give you energy. And through energy, when you are healthy, that means prosperity. Because health is wealth. Mm. You can find my jewelry at marilynlhh at gmail.com. My phone number is plus 65 966 15907. Yes, so if you would like to, see, to view my mom's jewelry, you can also go to etsy.com slash shop slash Marilyn Jewel or you can email or contact her for personal viewing and she can show you her jewelry. She often, you know, uh, sets up a store at flea markets, at artist markets and, you know, next up will be the Heart Mind Body Festival, which is a three-day holistic fair at the Singapore Chinese Chamber of Commerce in the month of May. Alright, so we regularly we have booths there, you know, so she'll be there she'll be having able to meet people and meet her customers and show you her, her jewelry in person. Right? When I was young, I I my, I really started to witness uh, my mom collecting gemstones and crystals. She loves these things because she's a jewelly designer. And and to me it was she was, she would tell me, you know, can you feel the energy from these crystals? And I was like, mm -mm, no, couldn't feel any energy. I thought she was nuts, you know. I wasn't at the time. I had not awakened my my spiritual awareness and psychic abilities yet. I couldn't feel anything. And I was just didn't get. I didn't understand and get her. So to me, her crystals were beautiful, but they're just expensive rocks collecting dust, right? But now that you know, I opened up my third eye and I have my own spiritual awakening. I could start to have my own personal experience and start to sense not just energy emanating from crystals but from all things and start to see the auras that she's been telling me all these years now I finally understand, you know, right, you know, she's actually the most psychic and intuitive member of my family she, she, just by uh, meeting someone and sensing their vibe, she could spot on tell me what they're all about, their personality and she's always been very accurate and she often had brand new premonitions and very vivid lucid dreams and where, uh, you know, and she'll communicate with Right, deceased relatives and angelic beings, and she's always been telling me all these things. And to me, when I was young, I couldn't appreciate it. I thought she was she was, she was sprouting nonsense or going insane. But now that I've had my own personal experience of some of these things, I finally understand her. It's about you know 
that all these years back then she was already so psychic and so so powerfully intuitive. I'm very impressed for sure. Right. So my mom's always been a great artist, very very talented jewelry designer. I was so amazed by how the uh, her illustrations of jewelry so was so beautiful, and that kind of inspired me to become a fashion designer as well. And and I get my artistic genes definitely from her. All my creative energies, you know, came from my mom for sure. You know, from her influence, and you know, she. Uh, always supporting me in creative and artistic pursuits and endeavors, enrolling me in fine arts school. This is a little boy, you know, nurturing that creative aspect for me. So I'm very grateful and appreciative to her for allowing me to express that side of me. All right. So you know, do do come and uh, seek my mom out for a healing massage. All right, through the acupressure method, right? and uh, as well as. Check out her jewelry. Her jewelry is made from you know all kinds of agates, jade, turquoise, coral, lava stones, and all, all kinds of different beautiful quartz and crystals. All right. Thank you very much, Marilyn. Is there any last words you'd like to say to the audience? Any tips for good health and longevity, and creating abundance? Yeah. What can you do? Always smile and be happy. Yes, this is what my mom always tells me. She was very friendly, happy disposition. Always smiling, always being bright and positive. Yes. Okay, thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Mom. I really love you. Thank you for supporting and encouraging me in my spiritual pursuits and holistic career. I really, you know, thank you for all the love you've given me all these years. Thank you. <laughs> thank you guys for watching this video. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel.